All right, today we're gonna check out Falco X on the Blackbird Next Level tune. Let's uh, see how it flies. The other thing I have is I have Smooth Stop set to level 10. So the most smooth spot, blah. So the most, <laughs> so the most smooth stop we can get. I know Blackbird has always been killing it in the past on his tune, so I have high, high expectations. Full power on the fan. It's all hot out. Let's see what we got. Engines armed. Engines disarmed. Engines armed. All right. Let's see if we get the full motor zing. Ooh, the flat wash is looking. Bounce back there yet, though, unfortunately. Prop wash looks good. It feels, uh. Feels a little loose. Right there. Check out some step moves. It's just for logs, basically. So we have some bounce back yet, though. We're doing it too bad on that last. I don't think I see any. It looks like a little key bounce back. That one, the roll looks a little bit more than a key bounce back. Check out some throttles. Looks like it has, it does pretty good a hold the nose except for. You know, it's got a little bit of ooh, like that. That was really loose. That roll right there is weird. I don't know if that's. You want to understand in sim mode. When you kick it really hard, it cuts out the D-turn and the I-turn, and you know, that's, that's fine. It just seems like that, uh, the same thing with the yaw, so let's see before. It just seems, uh, like the yaw is off. Like off tilt. not cool before so yeah all in all uh pretty good i mean prop wash performance was was good um uh, i still saw a little i see a little with this quad with kiss too and same thing for beta flight the bounce back i'll have to look at the log to see if it's i term induced bounce back or p term and we got smoothed up all the way up so i can reduce those gains but honestly reducing the p gains 
is then gonna, it's all compromises then, right? Because now if I reduce the P or the I gains, my throttles are going to get worse. Um, so when we were hopping up and then cutting the throttle, how it was bobbling there a little bit or drifted. Now the drift is the yaw, so I could keep that the same. Uh, so that's that. The There's just some weird moves where I guess when sim mode kicks in and it, and it cuts out um, maybe the I and the D term, it just feels real loosey-goosey. Like it doesn't really feel locked. So let's see what that looks like on the logs. See if we can kind of pinpoint that and uh, see what we see. Uh, if it's just me or if it's, or if it's real, if it was there. All right, on this one, we reduced the P-term on the pitch and roll access to adjust for any overshoot so we don't get any more overshoot and bounce back. So let's uh, see how it looks. Let's see if I say, see the same thing in full flight. And also let's see what prop wash looks like after that adjustment. Just gotta wait, it's like a pause. It takes a second for it. I feel like I still see some bounce back. So that's eye turn. That, yeah, that's eye turn. You can see it kind of drift back. It's hard to see, but there, we see it in the log, so I'm not going to keep doing it. Yeah, and the crop wash is still... It's okay. Yeah. A little bit of a jerk there. Yeah. Yeah. Problems are expectantly worse. I'll tell you, that's sim I, I don't know what it is, but as soon as you get on a sharp move, it, you can it just you can it just drifts off. I think it's that sim mode. I think it's sim mode. Unfortunately, with you can't turn off sim mode uh, in this build. You can turn it down, but not off. So you can turn the gain down, so it doesn't boost as much with the term but it's still cutting out the B in the I, and I think it cutting out the B in the I is what gives you that. That loose feel because those two terms are cut out of the equation. Just funky. So, yeah, problems are not great. You can see it drift in there a little bit. Drifts and then comes back. It's the eye term adjusting. When you see stuff like that, like drifting down and then back up, it's eye term. Point two bolts for sale. Not too bad. Engines on. Yeah, let's do some smooth forward flight here, Just real quick. A little bit of breeze out today, but not too bad. Just like that constant winter breeze. Yeah, it's kicking up a little bit. Uh, 
little bit of uh, bounce back check there. That was pretty good. Looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of wash. You have to really compare the HD between the two to tell the difference, but I don't think it's bad. Yeah, stick response will look good there. All right, we're getting down 14 volts. Bring it in. Engines disarmed. All right, so decreasing the PIDs or the P term to kind of control the overshooting and bounce back. You can see, I think throbbles were a little worse, which is expected. And prop wash. Mm, Seem, seem, kind of seen about the same. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'd have to really look at the black box. I mean, it, it's been a couple days uh, since I flew the last one, so I, I, it's really hard to remember. I think it was last, last weekend. So, um, so yeah, hopefully that gives you a sense. Uh, if you haven't bounced back, and both, again, were with the smooth stop to 10. So the smooth stop doesn't really... It's not really a bounce back thing from what I've tested and seen so far. I mean, it... it it lowers your rates right at center stick, so it's like Expo. So that's not really a bounce back cure. Uh, I think there was some bounce back yet there that looked very much like I term. And with sim mode being on, that just shows the lag uh, from the sticks, the latent, as, as they like to say. I mean, you can look at the footage yourself to see what you think flies best. But uh, with that, thanks everybody. I hope this helped. And if you are interested in seeing additional uh, breakdown of some of the features within Flight 1, like black box analysis of what you see when sim modes at 1 versus sim modes at 5, what you see the difference in black box analysis with smooth stop at level 1 versus level 10 versus off, those kind of things, check out my Patreon. I'm going to have a Patreon only video this week going through that kind of stuff, breaking it down. Uh, so you can get a sense of what setting changes will make on a quad. Uh, obviously, specifically this quad. Mileage may vary a little bit. If the quad's lighter weight, I would think you'd get more response. Uh, and uh, a little heavier, probably less response from those features. But yeah, check it out. Link down in the video description.